Tayshawn Miller and today I will be doing a very, very, very serious video warning you about the dangers of turmeric, which is the household spice that people use. We use it to cook with, we use it um, as a healing agent because it has a lot of healing properties. We use it as face mask. That's what I use it for. I use it as a face mask. Now, I'm not going to sit here and just down this product at all because that's not what this video is about. As a matter of fact, I absolutely love this product and I plan on not stopping using it. I'm going to continue to use it. However, I just wanted to bring forth some knowledge so that you guys can know how serious this product is if it's not use the correct way so as you can see let me give you guys a close-up and I am on the way to the emergency room right now but this eye isn't really all that bad this eye is bad but this eye here is like this eye is the worst right here like this it looks like a robotical eye like <laughs> it looks like a robot eye with I don't even know what to say yeah but mm, yeah but anyhow so um what happened is I make turmeric masks. Um, this is the stuff that I make here. And in here is two teaspoons of milk, um, a half a teaspoon of honey, a couple of shakes of turmeric powder, um, and some plain vanilla yogurt. Is that all my ingredients? Yogurt, turmeric, milk, honey. Oh, and cornstarch. And I mix it up. And normally I apply it with this and I might do it once or twice a week and I absolutely love this mask it's very good for dark circles it's very good for tightening the skin it's very good for lightening the skin because if you're like me I'm very sensitive I cannot take um, like any of the skin lighteners or lotions and stuff like that I can't put that on me and like with me having diabetes like my neck gets really dark and my cheeks and stuff and like all that's gone because of this and with drinking of course water and with um, changing my diet so that I'm no longer diabetic but anywho so last night I um I was really really sleepy and I went ahead and I put the mask on with this brush this is a regular elf um foundation brush but I don't use it to apply my foundation I use it to apply my turmeric mask and what I did was I knew I wanted to get, I had like some little dark circles under my eyes from being up really late. So, and I still have one right here, but it's getting light as you can see from the turmeric. So, um, what I did was I used this and I put it here and I had it like really, really close to this part of my eye. And some got into my eye. I, I got my rag with cold water. I washed it off. And I went ahead and I laid down and I thought that I would be fine. Honey, I woke up this morning with my eyes sealed shut together like someone crazy glued them together. When I finally unpeeled them with hot water, um, I saw my eyes were red. I'll insert a picture here. So I went on ahead and I went to church. I even went up to the altar to get prayed for. And I believed that I was going to be healed and everything. And as, as I walked back to my seat, I even felt my eye to stop. It, it stopped hurting. It started feeling good. So, of course, I was okay with everything. With everything. But then when I went to the restroom at church and um, I looked at myself in the mirror, I was like, oh, my God, my eye has gotten worse. So, But it wasn't hurting, and it's still not hurting now. But the reason why I'm going to go to the ER is because, as you can see, like, yeah, I don't want to play with my eye because we only get two eyes. It's not like I can get an artificial, you know, arm or leg or something like that. I can't get another eye and I need my eye. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the ER and I definitely will let you guys know what they say while I'm there. I'll probably do a little video and if not, I'll just come back home and do one and let you guys know. So, but yeah, definitely you guys that are using turmeric on your face. Do not get it in your eyes because this is what you are going to deal with. Terrible. It burns and everything. So I'll see you guys later. I'm going to go ahead to the um, ER and I'll keep you guys posted. Y'all, yeah, so I'm in the emergency room. My eye is even... It's like so crusty right now. They're getting ready to give me an um, uh, eye exam. 
Yeah, y'all. Oh, you can. Yeah, my eyes are really, really red. Terribly red. <laughs> I look awful. This is a lesson learned, though. All right, y'all. Let me get this exam done. Keep y'all posted. Okay, y'all. I'm leaving the ER. My eyes look worse. Absolutely worse. But I still feel good, so I'm still gonna give God the praise. And I can't go out that way, so I guess I gotta go out this way.